Yo, 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 yo. What up? Who's all here? Let me know. Who is all here? What is up, guys? I know it is a little late. Can you all hear me? Okay. But it is a little late, and I have had a ton, a ton of people ask me about chokes. So we're going to let everybody get in here. Uh, tell your buddies, tell your hunting buddies, tell your partners, tell your friends. Tell them to get in here. Tell them to get in here. Look at this. What are you doing, man? You're all in my new hunting stuff. Jeez, can't keep nothing nice around here. But choke tubes, man. Got me a new one on there. Had to. We'll get into that here in just a minute. But you guys have been seriously hitting me up a bunch about choke tubes. And there's a good reason for it. You know, the season's here. We have a lot of beginners here. And that is what I love. What up? What up? What up? What up, my nit? Yeah, what you said. Um, got pro staff today. Heck yeah, Nolan. Glad to have you on board. Oh man, it's hard to read all these guys. You guys are getting down. But yeah, it's glad to have you guys back. I text Flair, I'm like, dude, do you think it's too late for me to go to do a live stream? He was like, heck no, do it, dude. So I was like, all right, I'll do it. And you guys have seriously been asking about these dang choke tubes forever. And I have been shying away from you guys and dipping out and not doing a choke tube video yet so I was gonna wait and actually do one for foul Friday like most of you would probably think I would uh, but I need to get it up you guys have been you know just on my butt about it and it, for good reason like I said that the season's hot and heavy and I should have did one a long time ago so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna cover kind of the basics we're gonna go over the basics today and at the end you know depending on what we went over for you guys and answering your questions, what guns you have, what kind of hunting you do. Uh, if it's not enough and we didn't cover enough, and if you guys want more, let me know down in the comments by the end of this video if you actually want me to do a full-blown video on one. And uh, I can, you know, you know, maybe test out some the different chokes I have. I probably need to go buy a couple more, actually. So it wouldn't be a bad idea. So let me know down below if you want me to do that later on. So, smoke the woody at 50. Ooh, dang. I haven't put up this one video. I had, a, I had a Drake Woody. Mind you, I've never shot one. As most of you know, this has been my... I, I used to be a big duck hunter, but we uh, got on a lot of ground around here uh, with my friends and stuff. So I do a lot of goose hunting. So uh, never shot a Drake Woody. Shoot a lot of ducks, but... Um, goose hunting next Friday. Heck yeah, dude. I'm going to get down all weekend long. So back to the chokes. Um... Long story short, I brought I bought the Franke, you know, last year around this time. So I've had it right out of year, and I I didn't shoot a lot of geese last year with it. And the ones that I did, um, I just didn't shoot a bunch. I got it late, kind of late in the season, so I didn't I didn't have a lot of goose shooting with it last year. So coming into this year, I did a bunch of duck hunting, like you guys seen, a ton of duck hunting, and just freaking slayed them. I've I've shot a ton of ducks this year, a ton. So when goose season rolled around, and I think it was the first white hunt a few weeks ago, four weeks ago, whatever it was now, um, we were decoying lessers, and lessers obviously aren't that big of geese. They're not honkers, so they're a little easier to, to kill. Not as easy to kill as cacklers or snows or anything like that, but <clears throat> I couldn't even... I, I'd feather them, I, I, know, I knew I hit them, but I couldn't kill them, I was crippling them, and I don't like that, I hate that, I hate it, I hate it, especially when I got a GoPro on my head, and you guys see me shooting these birds, and they're not, they're not dying, they're crippling, and I, I don't like that, I don't, I don't stand for that, and uh, I think that if you shoot a bird, you should, you should do everything in your power, you should spend the money, that's why I'm doing this video, you should spend the money to make sure you're gonna kill the bird, it is, it is important. Um, you know, crippling birds and having them walk over highways all crippled and not being able to go get them all the time, uh, you know, walking out in the field, but you know how it goes. So, killing birds is the ticket. So, what I did, I was like, man, I need to do something. So, I, I went to uh, our local uh, gun shop here and I'm like, hey, bro, I know him pretty well. And I was like, this is what I do. He was like, you know, how close are you decoying your birds? And I was like, yeah. 
they're pretty close, you know, ish sometimes. Sometimes our geese are a little high, especially if we're hunting in white suits. White suits, you, you tend to take a little higher shot a lot of times, but uh, they just don't like to put their feet down a bunch. So I told him that. He was like, well, what do you like to shoot? And I'm like, I love to shoot BB just like anybody else. It's a three inch chambered gun, 26 inch barrel affinity. And I love the gun. I, I love I loved shorter barrels just for the simple fact that they're lighter. I love the I love nimble, light guns. So uh, the three inch with the stock mod was not doing it. It's a non-extended choke, obviously, with being stock, killing ducks, murdering ducks. And with ducks, I'd use, you know, four shot uh, with that stock non-extended mod choke. And uh, we, we went to geese and, man, I could not kill them. Could not kill them. So long story short, I got a improved mod i didn't go to a full and the reason why is is because i still want to go i want to have the more distance for ducks too i don't i want to keep a, a decent pattern i don't want to get it too tight and for our goose hunting what i found the last two hunts that i have hmm. well uh someone tried calling me and it interrupted the phone y'all there if you're all there say yes so Sorry, someone tried calling. I had to decline the call, mother duck. So, I went to an improved mod. Uh, as, as a lot of you know, thank you, thank you for letting me know. Thank you for letting me know, fellas. Um, as a lot of you know, I, I like, we, like to, we, like to, we like to take the shot when we're goose hunting, as you've seen. We like to get their feet down. We like to get them in the hole. The, far, the farther down you can get them, the closer to the ground, the longer it takes for them to get up, closer shot, obviously. It's going to be that 20, 30 yard shot. It's premium. It's prime. Uh, but I still want to be able to bust them too, and I like the BB shot. I've always heard uh, horror stories uh, about you know some chokes and some guns not being able to shoot triple Bs or, or double Bs out of a full. So I really wanted to go with a full, but I didn't want to have to change it out all the dang time and end up losing one if I wanted to go duck hunting. So and this improved mod, I will tell you, hands down, I love it. I, I love it. Now... It's just, it is the same one that I had on my old gun you guys seen last year. I had an old junk TriStar, but it actually wasn't junk. It was just, it was just a cheap gun. It lasted me about three years. But anyways, this is my second one. This is a Carlson. Um, didn't, didn't go online and get it for free, nothing like that. Went to the lo local shop and bought it. I like to, I like to talk to the guys at the local shop before I buy chokes and let them know what I'm doing. They, they're really informative uh, over in South Hutch to get the shooters. Actually, if you guys, a lot of you probably know where that is if you've been around here. But an improved mod, man, for uh, decoying birds, big bigger geese too, bigger lessers. And yeah, the, hey, yeah, the cremator, the ported cremator in white. Dude, tell me, tell me, how many of you know the white cremator ported? Oh, my Lord. That sucker is beautiful. I'm going to get one of them. Uh, why did I choose affinity over intensity? I, what, I think the intensity is, is the, is the intent, I don't, I'm not even up to date. Is the intensity of the three and a half chambered gun? Is that what that is? If so, I don't want a three and a half inch chambered gun. I just, I don't, I don't need it. They're heavier, they're bigger, bigger, they're bulky. And, uh, I don't need three and a half inch shells. I've done some videos on that too. I just don't, I, I don't need, I can tighten my choke down like we're talking about and be able to do what I would be able to do with a three and a half. Now, obviously sky bust and higher birds, uh, be, you know, if the birds aren't wanting to get low enough and having to take them, obviously the three and a half comes into effect. I'm not gonna say that a three can always do what a three and a half can obviously because it can't. But um, this is, you know, right in between pretty much a mod and a full. So, man, I'm telling you, you these videos, you'll, you'll probably see one Sunday uh, it's a pretty good hunt. We it was this last weekend, but it's a it's night and day different with Sorry, it's night and day difference with these geese. I mean, I when I hit them you can tell I'm I mean I nail them and and really feather them when they when I when I smack them, but uh, I love the choke um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and buy a full anyways Just because I, I really probably need one and I'd like to try it too. I, my accuracy has gotten a ton better this year. I'm, just, I'm, I'm shooting better than last year. I shot really good, but uh, this year shooting really good, you know. So um, let's answer some questions. What all questions do you guys have? Let's hit it. I've I haven't answered any dang questions for ten minutes now. I'm getting all selfish. So what questions do you guys have about chokes? Let me know.
What kind of gun do you have now? An affinity. Franke affinity. You're going to be shooting some tiny cacklers. Yep, them tiny cacklers, dude. I'm telling you what, them tiny cacklers are fun because they're easy to kill. You don't, you don't have to uh, buy a big, big shell for it. Oh, boy, R.J. Snyder. Yikes. Um, any new Ducks products? Uh, there's some. There, we'll, we'll be having more come, uh, you know, during the holidays here. And then uh, we, we have a lot of plans in the works by, by far. We have, um, we actually have our knives, dude. Look at this. Why, why didn't I grab these? Look at this. Check this out. I haven't even got to show you that, guys these yet. Thanks for reminding me, dude. I'm, I'm an idiot. Hold on a minute. Check these puppies out. Like, honestly. Honestly. So sick. So sick. Okay. Dude. Boom. Yep, regular pocket knife. Look how slim that bad boy is. You know that these pocket knives, we like them slim. So check it out. Boom. Look at that, dude. Freaking clean, man. They came out perfect. Actually, way better than I thought. They are not spring assisted. I know you guys are going to start asking that. These are not, but these come sharp and they are nice. I mean, I am I'm very proud of these knives. This one I'm extremely proud of. <clears throat> Look at that bad boy right there. Ducks Waterfowl Co, baby. Filet knife. This sucker. I have huge hands, dude. Huge hands. Big hands. I can grip a basketball. Look at that. Boom. I mean, it's just a beast of a knife. Look at the grooves and the handle on it. Just a beast, dude. So these are nice. These come sharp. These, this is a little, little harder, little, it's not as flexible, so that's good. I didn't want it to be that flexible, especially for, for birds. So um, very nice knives. You guys should go to the website. I'll link these below after we're done here. But if you guys want to pick them up, they are available on the site. Thanks for asking me if there was anything new. This is new also. So if you guys haven't checked out the next gen hoodie, go grab it too. Those are our two new products, three new products right now. So, uh, JD, I'm glad you can grip a basketball also. Um, would you ever hunt with me in Northeast Kansas? Sure. You got a bomb, bomb ass field or what's up? Um, what shells do you use for geese? What, so yeah, let's get into that. So geese, I run, this is what I run. I don't have a three and a half chambered gun. Go hunting with flair. I have a bunch. Um, three inch, double B. I like I like to find the ounce and three eighths loads. The ounce and three eighths loads, they go boom. Um, but you know, I like to run the ounce and a quarters also. Try to stay away from the ounce and an eighths, unless unless it's this. Look at this. Oh, look at these. I finally found a box, and they were marked down a hair bit. I've been wanting to try these black cloud snow goose loads. So the theory behind these, this is why I wanna try them. These puppies are three inch, I bought three inch, double B, they're an ounce and an eighth, so a lighter ounce, but they, the, the feet per second is 1,635 feet per second. I mean, God dang, that's fast. So that's what interested me and uh and and buying these the, is the feet per second and we got a lot of snow geese snow geese they're hard to decoy that's why these have so much feet per second i'm sure that the pellet size is a little smaller for a bb but that's probably why they travel so fast so um i might guess I, i'm not for sure on that but the reason I bought these is I've been wanting to try them because of the feet per second and we have a lot of snow geese here and we can't decoy snow geese like we decoy lessers and, and cacklers. They don't, do, they don't do it as easy. So I'm excited to try those. What's next? Um, chokes for woodies. Woodies, dude, they're, they're not a big duck. I would, I would tell you to, you don't need much. It, it's a regular, you know, two shot at most, four shot probably. You can get away with six shot with a mod. Or or an or a uh, improved cylinder. An Im improved cylinder is a great choke for ducks, especially if you're getting them close, um, because the closer they are, the harder they they are to kill. Um, thanks, thanks, Mossy Oak Five Hundred Five. Thank you. Uh, favorite call? I don't have a favorite call, man. Whatever, 
whatever sounds good and isn't worn out and sounds like a turd, whatever sounds good. <clears throat> Would I hunt North Dakota? You're damn right I'd hunt in North Dakota. Uh, um, sorry, I got the belches tonight. Um, what's the one duck or goose that you'd like to mount? I, I, I'll probably mount a good looking Ross or a good looking, a good looking snow, you know. Um, bluebills, yeah, that'd be cool in Canada. Mm, finding super foggy conditions, do you call without seeing the ducks? Super foggy conditions when that's when it's really foggy. I know what you mean. When you like have a blanket above you and everything sounds loud and muffled, you can't you can tell it's not going. <clears throat> what sucks is what sucks is it muffles it so much. I've had those days, and you have to call loud. You have to call loud because if you don't call loud on really foggy days, I mean really foggy, when you know the birds are having trouble to see you, they're not going to see you, so they're not going to decoy. So you have to call loud in very foggy days. Got to tell them where you are. Hey, over here. Hey, over here. And just keep repeating it. Because uh, they usually see you. That's why they come to your spirit. Uh, when is the folder knife available? The vault. So both knives are available now. Throck Rocket. What up, man? Shout out to Throck Rocket. He's from my, he's from my hometown and he is a YouTuber also. Um, I know California sucks, but it should come down and shoot ducks. California ducks? Yeah. I, I, I've never heard of California having ducks. I know Washington and north, north of there does, but, uh, have you ever, uh, have, what happened to the gun holder for the truck? Gun holder for the truck, we gotta revamp it a little bit. Um, just have to make it a little better. We don't, one of our things here at Ducks is just like this hoodie. We made this, we designed this. Where if so, if we don't like something small, you're not gonna like it. So the, the thing with the gun holders, they're on hold just a bit, just a bit. But we we hate to hold them. We were so ready to release them, but we had a little minor adjustment that needs needs to be done. So they will be available soon, though. Uh, when am I gonna hunt with flare? It's gonna be I don't know, probably this middle. Uh, I don't know, probably right before Christmas. Actually, probably week before Christmas um with me some buddies Texas hunting man I've heard it's you guys should be getting some birds down in Texas for real you guys should be getting birds anytime if you are right now um Joseph Manzneri no no thanks uh we made a ducks order yeah shipping dude it's getting hammered with with Christmas orders as you guys know be patient they're gonna be there getting hammered with shipping for Christmas. So, so as is for as is everybody in the world. Mm, any good calls under 50 bucks? We are getting ready to release our our own ducks calls. So, we're going to come out with ducks first and then we will have geese following it. So, they should be very fair priced. Be looking out. I'll let you guys know right when they're available. Oh, it's, it's mm hmm Yep. So, any choke questions? Like, any any choke questions? What you guys, you know, what hunting you do and what choke you should have? So, here's my deal. Like I say, for for duck hunting, let's let's talk about public duck hunting. So, public duck hunting, I know a lot of you guys do as well as myself. So, let's talk about public duck hunting. I had a stock mod in here, not extended, and murdered ducks all freaking year. So if that tells you anything, if you're if you know you're a good shot, I would just put in a modified. You'll do great. Uh, for geese, uh, if you're sky busting and pass shooting, put in a full. If you're decoying within you know 20 to 40 yards, I like the improved mod, but I do want to buy a full also, an extended full. Um, Thanks, official stance. Thank you, man. Uh, what else? What do you guys got? We are coming up on 20 minutes, so we're not going to go too far over 20 minutes. I want to tell you guys, tomorrow's Foul Friday. A lot of you know and love Foul Fridays. Tomorrow is going to be, I'm telling you, it's probably going to be one of the best Foul Fridays that I've done. So be expecting tomorrow's Foul Friday. I might upload it a little earlier in the day than usual, uh, just so you guys can see it a bunch. Fridays are awful for YouTube views. Awful. So if you guys like the Foul Fridays, Smash a thumbs up right now so I know. And then 
hook me up. Go watch the dang things when I upload them on Fridays because Fridays suck. People like to go drink beer. People want to be off work. People don't want to sit around and watch my ugly ass. So how old am I? 31, dude. 31. Old. Old balls. Uh, what do you do with birds you bring home? Well, I, what do you think I do, dude? I clean them. Uh, oh, man, I can't. Time upload shot. What time is the upload? Oh, tomorrow's so tomorrow's foul Friday. I'm gonna try to get it up early, probably around noon. If I get it up before noon, I'll be surprised, but I want to get it up at noon. Uh, so, have you shot tungsten? Good freaking point, tungsten. So, a lot of you have seen um, a lot of what is it? it? What is it? Heavy shot is heavy shot the one that's been promoting the tungsten a lot, heavy metal. Uh, but the tungsten loads, I, I, when I first seen it, I'm going to be completely honest. I was like, this is just a marketing scheme. I was wrong. Tungsten is heavier than steel as both, you know, heavy. Thank you, David Reed. Um, I haven't shot them yet, so I haven't bought them. I don't know much about them, but this is what I do know. Tungsten is heavier. It's heavier than steel. So what they do on uh, a lot of these tungsten loads, most of them are mixed. So a lot of them will be half steel, half tungsten. So what you can do is go down. So say I like shooting a number two. What I can do with tungsten is I can go down to a number four, which is smaller, and it's gonna be just as heavy as the number two. What that does, it gives you more pellets. So it gives you more pellets to hit the bird. That's most important, is more pellets, more pellets for any of us. So more pellets, the tungsten actually actually goes farther. So if you have tungsten number two and steel number two, the tungsten's heavier, it's gonna go farther. It may not travel as fast because it's heavier, but it's gonna go farther. So what you get is a really diverse pattern. You get a you get by the time it ends up to the bird, you get a you get a front load and a back load, and that back load being heavy, boy howdy, it's gonna smack them. So, at first when I heard the tungsten theory and and deal, I was like, man, I don't know about that. But now researching and talking to my buddy Noah, shout out Noah, uh, Preston's buddy, uh, he kind of informed me and and he had a lot of great points and he let me know why tungsten. Yes, it it is expensive. The loads or a lot more expensive tungsten. If you guys buy tungsten weights for bass fishing, you know how expensive freaking tungsten is. So I, I would really like to try them. I'm extremely interested in them. I think the theory behind them is great, especially for geese. I love the theory of having half and half shell being still in tungsten for geese. Not so much ducks. Ducks are so fast, I don't think it'd matter, but Geese are slow, especially when you get them in the hole and you get them two, four foot off the ground and you actually call a shot. So I think that they would benefit a lot having a half and half shell. I was thinking of tungsten weights the whole time. Yeah, so that's exactly. So if you haven't heard of this, they're going to a half and half shell and they are pricey. It's half tungsten, half steel. But like I said, if you like shooting BB, if you like shooting number two, Say you like shooting number two, you can go down to a number four, get more pellets, and the pe and each pellet is just as heavy. So if you think about it, it's a great theory, and I it works. As far as I've heard with every all of my buddies that's actually shot it, it works, and they love it. you got to fork out an arm and leg for it. But, you know, if, you're, if, you're, if you are sure about your accuracy and you want to kill birds, I'd say give it a try. Uh... Thank you, thank you, R.J. Snyder. Thank you, man. Uh, what's up? You should use slugs on those quackers. Use a slug on a duck? <laughs> I don't know. Half tongues and half steel has been around for ten years. Oh, I'm sorry, Steve. You you know more than me. I don't. I don't. I don't know. So I just first time hearing about it. I don't. I buy freaking cheap Walmart stuff. So whatever's available is what I grab, and it's usually not that. Um, winter pigeon hunting or not, dude? I would love to. Pigeon hunting's a little slow right now. We got geese here, so we're getting dirty in the geese, man. I'm that's what I'm I love. We don't have a whole decoy trailer for no reason. <laughs> uh light modded choke question mark. Yes. Uh what is a fairly inexpensive choke brand? This one here, this Carlson, and I'm not really I think they give me like a pro staff deal I've had for like three years that I've never even used. I literally go to the shooter's shop and buy this. Uh, but this thing was only like 30 some dollars, I think. 
that was about it. So it's not expensive. It's a pretty inexpensive way to make uh, to make make it count. You know what I mean? For thirty, forty, fifty bucks, whatever it is, you can you can go from not being able to shoot and kill geese mm -hmm. at forty yards to being able to smack them at sixty if you want. You know, so it's a it's a good idea to do it now. Patterning, I need to go pattern it. Um, I need to go pattern it to see what it's like. It's shooting great. I shoot them. I, I kill them. So uh, I'm not too, too concerned with it. I would like to do a patterning video, though. I think that would be good. We're at 25 minutes, so we're going to wrap this thing up. Be expecting tomorrow's Foul Friday. It's going to be awesome. It's one of the best fr Foul Fridays. I'm telling you what, it's goofy. I'm, I'm a moron, and like usual, I make a fool out of myself and go sit in a park. But that's all I'm going to tell you. Yeah, waterfowl hunting in a in a city park. So if you want to see something like that, tune in tomorrow for the Foul Friday. I want to thank you guys for being here, dudes. So let's answer a few more questions for you. You guys got them rolling in. I don't want to leave you hanging, dudes. I really don't. What is the best goose call? Like I said, there I don't have a best goose call. I like whatever sounds good, honestly. And if it's cheap, that's even better. I'm I'm the normal hunter, man. Don't she's throwing stuff at me. She's hiding. Oh yeah, thank you. Um, here soon. Do you do I deer hunt? Yes. Molt gear is awesome. I love molt gear. Yes, yes. I know molt gear. I know they sound great. Um, I love molt gear, man. They are bad mothers. But how is the flocking worn? How has the flocking worn? <laughs> she just hit me in the head with something. Why are you spitting spit wads? You're a child. Best boots. I love my mucks. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sponsored or anything. I just love my mucks. It's all I've ever owned. All I've ever owned is what I like, and what I've ever, well, all I've ever owned is probably something cheap. Though the the newest stuff I have is duck stuff, dudes. You know me. I am a bargain freaking shopper. Charlie Dunn, thanks for the freaking whatever you call those things. I'm, I'm. This is my second live stream. You know, you guys know that. Do you have a duck boat? I have a little jumbo that I need to get freaking done and you guys keep reminding me about. Toxic Calls, another good call company. Can't argue with that. Um, Big Sean, never blown them. Heard, heard a lot of good, heard a lot of good things about them though. Are you gonna buy a cremator? I probably will because the white one looks freaking tits. And uh, I mean, it looks pretty sharp. And I think on the GoPro and the white, it's extended choke tube, oh shit. Uh, do you have any tips for beginner waterfowlers? I have tons of videos on them. Go to the Foul Friday uploads and the videos and go check them out. Beginners, everything. Do you hunt turkeys? Yes, I spot and stock turkeys a lot. Um, and I'm going to be having some awesome coyote hunting coming your guys' way. So if you like coyote hunting, it's coming too. Uh, what is your call you use in your tutorial? Just an old one. Who's a better shot? You're a flare. Come on. Come on. You guys know this. Uh, brand, if I had a brand new jabot, what kind of motor would you put on the back? One of them mud motors, man. I don't know much about them, but one of the freaking mud motors. I've been a big one. As big as that, as that thing will hold. What are you doing, man? Uh, yeah, so the coyote hunting, dude. I am. Um, mm hmm. It's going to get good. And the coyote hunting is with, is with shotguns, not rifles. So we're going to get close quarters. I'm telling you what. Um, any more about chokes? I mean, you guys are still coming in here. You guys are still coming, and I don't want to. I almost tried closing it off on you guys, but I haven't. So I want to shout out one more time. Stop with your spit wads, man. So if you haven't seen the new knives, look, Ducks Waterfowl Co. Fillet knife, big Brutus, big old rubber hard handle, sweet. There's and it's rubber. It's not plastic. Pocket knife, slim. Look how skinny that sucker is. Fits in your pocket, not bulky. Check them out. Website. I'll link them down below. You guys asked about them earlier. They're freaking, they come sharp, so be careful. Uh, choke for coyotes. Dude, I'm going to run a full, or I'm going to run uh, this this improved mod right here, and I'm going to run a three-inch steel shot that I use for geese, BBs, and blast them. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be good. Uh, Mason Outdoors, what up? Uh, ducks should make decoys. Never know. Next year, next year isn't here. So we're gonna we're gonna try. Do, uh, I'm telling you right now, we started this thing from the ground up. We're gonna try to do as much as we can. 
Pattermaster Code Black Goose Choke. Yeah, that's a good one. Pattermaster Kicks is another good one. Uh, what kind of choke would you use for 15, 20 yards in timber? 15, 20 yards close range timber. I honestly, if you're not, if you haven't been hunting for 20 years and or 10 years and you're just a dead eye and you're decent, you know what I mean. Just be honest with yourself. I'd I'd say an, an improved cylinder at 20 yards is perfect. Uh, what is your favorite bow? Uh, I think I have a yeah. I have a Hoyt, so I don't necessarily have a favorite. It's an old one, and I need a new one. Uh, do you like a full choke for ducks? If you plan on sky busting them, I guess, or not eating them, tearing the whole breasts off of them out of the air? Probably not. Do you have Oakleys? No, these are Wiley X prescriptions. I love them. Self-tinning like a grandpa. Um, when hunting diver ducks, stay silent. You should probably call a little bit. If they don't like it, don't call. I know I'm rambling here asking, don't you still shot for coyotes? Just buy a box, two buck shot. Dude, I, it's, I already have, I already have all these shells, man. I already have, oh, Charlie Dunn, what up? Ask the question, man. Thank you. Um, but I'm just gonna use a three inch BB. But, so Charlie Dunn, you gave another two bucks. Thank you, brother. You said you had a question, what is it? I've uh, been duck hunting for two years publicly and around 50 decoys have been able to, I couldn't read that. It went away. What gun for under a thousand bucks? What gun for under a thousand bucks? Stokers are good. Frankies are good. You know, I, I like semi-auto guns, to be honest with you. I've done the pumps and I'm over them. Do you carry extra chokes to the field? I don't right now, but I'm going to probably go carry, buy a full and uh, have both of these. So I'll have an improved mod and a full and be able to switch them out if I need to. Benelli, yeah, SX4s are good. Benelli's are good. Yes, yep, yep. Mm, 870s are great. Supernovas, all they've proven themselves years and years over. Tacos or burritos? Charlie, dude. Tacos with extra hot sauce. My Stoger took a crap after three years. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. I know how it feels. I had a, a not a Stoger, but another gun that did the same and another gun that did worse than that. Um, have you ever heard of bulk decoys? Yeah, bulk decoys. I've heard of them, never used them. Don't know. What is your opinion, Bradley Chokes? Don't know about Bradley Chokes. Any tips on birds of decoy? Mm -mm. Just pay attention to what they're doing. React to what they're doing. What state do you live in, Kansas? Uh, please go fishing. I do. It's it's winter, and hunting is waterfowl is this channel genre. So. When it's when it's waterfowl season, it's frickin' waterfowl season. When it's summer, it's still waterfowl season. So we are we are waterfowl genre lives in the summer. We're gonna do some big flathead videos like you guys have seen. Gonna do some coyote hunting. Gonna do some alligator videos. So be it's gonna get nuts. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And I'm not lying. What will happen if you shoot a three inch out of a gun that only shoots two and three quarter? That's a good question. I don't know. Never done it. Don't try it. Don't 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 try to find out. It's probably not going to be good. Do you live in no? Uh, what kind of metal? Uh, what kind of metal? I, I do don't know. Steel. They're not aluminum for sure. Steel. Steel blade. Preston is trying to call me. Why in the hell are you trying to call me when I'm live, dude? Preston, why are you trying to call me when I'm live? Second call that I've had to decline. Sorry. Uh, just jammed a lot. Yeah, what's up? Oh, my Lord. Preston is dumb. Now he texts me. Call me. Dude, I'm on live, dude. All right, what is my favorite choke? Don't really have one. Just like the cheap ones that I know work, uh, which is these Carlson's. This is my second or third one I've owned. Um, calls, I'm not particular on brands of calls. We're gonna have ours coming out and so we've designed them so you know they're gonna be good and cheap. So be looking out for those. But 34 minutes, that's way past what I wanna do. How do you get on ProStaff? Email ducksprostaff at gmail.com. Send them uh, an email stating you're interested and they will get back to you and we'll try to get you on board. Uh, do you ever go elk hunting? Never have. I will next year probably. When, we, when this channel gets going a lot more and. I get some more money from somewhere because, yeah, you know how YouTube is with hunting. So, 
Uh, and, and to say that, I thank you all you guys showing up tonight. I thank all you guys for all your support, and it is tremendous. You know that I appreciate it. I always tell you guys, I, I make sure to tell you guys because I mean it. Uh, spending the extra money for the 3500 if you have it. How many brands do you have? Not very many. I probably have four. I don't know. I've lost some of them because lanyards break or some crap. We don't get a lot of bands here, man. I'm ready for a banded video. Believe me, I'm ready to I'm ready to shoot a band on video for you guys. That's one of my goals. That's one thing I try to do. And this weekend, this weekend we have a good chance. We're not hunting around where we usually do. We're driving really far, kind of far, not really far, but kind of far. And they tend to have bands over there. So we're going to go try it out and hopefully do it. Uh, what type of Franke affinity? Uh, geese hunting in uh, Cornfield, Missouri. Good, good, good hunting in, in Missouri, man. Um, duck and goose hunting is a money pit. Yes. We are all broke because of it. We love it. I know. Believe me. I know. So, I'm going to get off here. Barrel stickers. Yes, you asked about them. Barrel stickers are available on the website. Next Gen is available on the website. New knives are available on the freaking website. Look at that one. Look at this one. Go grab them. Do it. Do it. Do it. So, I'm going to get off here. We've been on here way too long. Thank you guys for sticking around this whole time. Thank you for all your questions. I hope I answered enough. If you want me to do a full video where I have some good video examples and we'll get into it a little more, let me know down below. Check out tomorrow's Foul Friday because I'm telling you it's going to be one of the best Foul Fridays that I've ever done. I went and filmed it today. Froze my freaking butt off in a city park. Stay tuned for tomorrow. It's a good one. We'll see you guys. Thank you guys. I love you all. Your, your support and your positive vibes, dude, it's what keeps me going. It's what's kept me going. We're right at a year mark. The channel is literally a year. I don't know, today or a week ago. I don't know. We're right at a year mark, and we have grown tremendously. Thank you for all my long-term subscribers, and I welcome all you new ones. It's truly, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you guys. Thank you. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace, y'all. I know that was dumb. I know. I don't even know how to, you, know, you guys know that I don't even know how to turn this thing off. I, I really don't. I'm sure you want to start. See ya.